Hi, everyone. Um, some people had reached out to me needing help creating a landing page or a home page on Canvas. Um, so what I did was go ahead and just create one that's um, customizable to your course, should you choose to download it and use it. Um, the tool that I'm using to record this is called Screencastify. And um, it's just a Google extension that you can download onto your Chrome. And there is a free version where you can create as many videos as you'd like, but they have to be under five minutes. Um, there is a paid for version for educators, and I think it's $30 for the whole year. And you get unlimited videos for however long you'd like, and there's a little bit more um, editing tools available to you. Um, but just thought I'd plug that in case you were interested in this tool. But here's the Canvas page that I created. Um, it's very basic, hardway colors. Um, I've put in some stuff that you'll need to delete after you upload it. So when I get done showing you what it looks like, I'll show you how you can upload it into your course. Um, this is the contact button. This will take you straight to a page uh, where you can put in your contact information, however you'd like your kids to contact you. Um, you can even link this to a discussion if you'd rather them post in a discussion. Um, that's just kind of up to you how you want to customize that. Um, I have a link to the Zoom page and where I imported the Zoom expectations for students. Um, here you can link this icon, this Zoom icon, to your Zoom class for the day or um, you can delete it altogether and put in multiple links. Again, kind of up to you how you want to customize this. Um, here's a resources and tools page. Uh, this can be helpful for links or files you use in class. Uh, for my economics class, Ms. Irvin and I use it to link USA Test Prep, Can uh, Khan Academy, GMA resources that we've collected over the years. Um, I do have it as a direct link to our Quizlet account where we have our vocab and also to the uh, Crash Course Economics uh, YouTube channel. And then I have uh, Tech Help and Lifelines. And this is just the paper that we were given earlier that I have a digital copy of imported on here. Um, I kind of wanted to make this part separate so that we could, if you wanted to, delete this um, after the first week or so, or however you want. You can also keep it on there if you want. It doesn't matter. Um, but here's the paper. Um, here's the bell schedule. This one I had to embed it as a Google slideshow, and some of you already know how to do that. Um, but this one just goes day by day, so that was Monday. Here's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, obviously. Um, and then when you download this, um, it'll come with this at the bottom, just the directions. You can delete that if you don't want it there, no big deal. Um, and then I have modules, and this isn't linked to anything right now just because I don't have modules linked in this course yet. But once you download this, you'll just select this icon and link it to a module. And I can show you how to do that after we go through the downloaded process. And then I have this one linked. So this is going to open to the Hardaway Hawks website. Um, my Wi Fi is running a little slow, but you can see it opens in a new tab. Um, if you need a quick tip on how to do that, I can show you how to do that. Um, so the students can just easily go back here, um, back to their homepage. Now I'm going to show you how to import all of this into your course. Um, to do that, I need to log in to Mr. Sturgeon's Canvas account. So here you'll see his dashboard. Make sure your courses are published if you haven't published them yet. Um, we're going to import into this course. I just published that one for him. Rodeo to the Commons on the left-hand side here. Um, it's easiest to search just by my name, so type in Lucy Lamb. Whoops. And all the pages you're going to need to import I made with the same logo, so it'll be easiest for you to find it. So you're going to want to import four pages. Um, we're going to import the home page, the Zoom page, the bell schedule, and the help page. So let's start with the home page. You click on it. You're going to choose the option to import and choose however many classes you'd like to import this page to. So import into course. 
We'll go back to search. We'll start at the top, the help page. We'll import this into the same courses that you just did the other one. Back to search. The bell schedule. We'll import this to the same class. And then I believe the last one we need is the Zoom page. So we'll import that one into the same class. So as you'll see, you'll get this little green bar across the top that says you successfully started the import. It doesn't always happen immediately. Um, so don't be alarmed if you go to your dashboard and you go to the course and you don't see the pages there. It takes some time. Okay, so here we are on the dashboard. We're going to open up the course that we just imported all of those to. Um, you'll see Mr. Sturgeon's course is automatically set up to open onto his syllabus. We're going to change that um, to make it a little bit easier for his students. So first thing we're going to do is go to the pages. You'll see a blue button up here at the top that says view all pages. Now if yours doesn't open to this, that's okay. It'll still be there. Just view all pages and um, you'll see all the pages that we just uploaded. Um, you'll see that this one automatically was set as the front page, but if it's not set as the front page, it's very easy to make it the front page by clicking on these three buttons on the right-hand side and just clicking the option for set. Now while we're here, we'll go ahead and make some additional pages. So we had six buttons and we uploaded um, a bell schedule page, a help page, and a Zoom page. We're going to need to make two more pages while we're here. So we're going to need to make a contact page. And we'll just leave it blank for now. Let's go ahead and publish it. Go back to view all page. And we're going to need to make a resources page. can leave those blank, go back and fill them in. Um, so we'll go back to view and make sure that we're still set as a homepage here. So let's go to the homepage and start linking these to make them usable buttons. So from here, um, you'll see that it's still set as a syllabus. We'll change that by going to the right hand side and choosing homepage and setting our homepage as the HHS homepage that we just uploaded. So we'll save that. And now we're going to edit this and start linking these buttons to make them work. So the first one we'll do is contact. Remember that contact page we just made? Um, that's blank, but that's okay. You can go in and fill it in. Um, on the right-hand side, you'll notice that you can link to things that you've already created in Canvas. So we're going to go drop down to the pages, and we're going to link the contact button to the contact page. We're going to do the same thing for all of these pages. We're going to link the Zoom to the Zoom page the resources and tools to the resource page, the tech help and lifelines to the help page, the bell schedule to the bell schedule page, and then the very last one is a, a little bit different because modules doesn't go to a page, it goes to modules. Um, so instead of being under the page option, we're going to go down to the modules option. So you'll click on modules, the button, drop down, and I've already built one shell of a module in here just for the purpose of this video. But if yours is blank, you'll just need to save this, what you've already done, and go create a blank module real quick. And I'll show you how to do that. So we'll save this. We'll go over here to modules. And if you're using modules in your course, you're going to want to create a module by using this blue button at the top, name the module, whatever you'd like, let's just choose this one, add. And you'll see this is the module that was showed up earlier at the link. Uh, make sure these are published, even if there's nothing in them, it's okay. You can go back and unpublish them. Um, so we'll go back to our home page. We'll edit so we can fix that module button. So select that. Select the drop down and you'll see the two that are there. 
can change this link so that'll go to whichever module you'd prefer for the kids to see first. So if we're on week four, you can change this to link to week four rather than to week one. So this is the last one, and this one should come linked already because I wrote it into the HTML. But if it doesn't, you'll need to select this link to URL and just put it in the Hardaway website. Um, you'll notice you can tell if it's been linked if it gives you the option to remove the link. But do not remove the link. Keep the link there. So we're going to save everything we worked on. And we're now going to go to our settings and check everything that we've done in student view because that is how we're going to know if it works. So students, the first thing they should see should be this home page if we set it correctly. They should be able to open a contact. And this is blank right now, but you can go in and fill this in with your information. They should be able to open a Zoom page. This is the one that we downloaded. Um, you can edit this, put in whatever you'd like at the top. Um, I left this expectations in there that we're all supposed to have, so leave those there. Um, make it customizable, make it pretty, however you want to do it. Uh, this should work to resources and tools. Again, customize this page, put whatever you want on there. Uh, Tech Help and Lifeline should go to the page that I've uploaded for you already. The bell schedule should go to the Google slide that we embedded. And you can delete this information around the bottom if you don't want it there. You can, again, customize these pages how you choose, but just keep the stuff that you need. Um, and then this one should go straight to week one module that hasn't been done yet. But if it was assignments there, it would be there. So let's go back to our homepage. So back on the homepage here, um, you can see that all of our links and our buttons are working. Um, if you do not want this welcome at the top, it's very easy to get rid of it. Just edit this. And select this and just press delete. Um, you can change that to your course's name. You can uh, put your own design there. Whatever you want to do, completely customizable. Just don't mess with the buttons. Um, so let's go save this. I'm going to show you a, a free pro tip here. Um, so you saw when we were in settings in student view that the students had access to moving slow. Students have access to all this stuff in student view. So if I was a student right now, I would be able to go into files and I would be able to see all of this stuff that we've uploaded. Now, maybe you want your students to do that, but I particularly don't want my students going through my files. Um, and there's an easy way to just, just to hide stuff in the teacher side of things so that I can't see certain files. But I just prefer to have them look at stuff that only I want them to look at. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Um, it's not mandatory or necessary if you don't want to do it. Um, it's just something that I do that I find really helps out with my students. So let's leave student view. I feel like it really helps them not get as lost on Canvas. We're going to go to our settings. And now we're in the teacher side of things. And we're going to go to navigation here at the top. And you'll see at the top it says drag and drop items and reorder them in the course navigation. So this is everything that my students can see right now. So, and you'll notice the little eyes next to it. That means they can't see it. Um, some of these, I'm going to go ahead and move some of these down. I want them to see modules because I'm going to give them modules. I'm going to disable quizzes for now. Move all this stuff down here so that I can clean it up a little bit. I don't think they need to see people. And some people get worried if I hide pages that they won't be able to see the pages that we just uploaded, but that's not true. You can, they can still see them as long as they're published. I'm gonna hide these. I'm gonna hide discussions. I'm gonna hide assignments. I'm gonna hide announcements for now. So the only thing I have up here are home and modules. So what that would look like, we'll save that at the bottom. What that would look like for the students, go back to student view, is it's so much cleaner on this side. Now they know, okay, if I need tech help, I go to this button. I don't have to go through the files over here to find the um, digital copy that I uploaded. 
So I just think it works out easier. Now, again, you can put whatever hide or show whatever links you want on this side. For me, I just think it's easier to, you know, limit the, the amount of links you have over there so that your students aren't getting completely lost on Canvas. So anyways, um, we're going to leave student view now, and that's pretty much how you do it. And hopefully um, you learn something that will help you in your Canvas courses as we go through this process. Um, thank you for watching.